Hey everybody, Tommy coming at you from beautiful California where BMW has flown me out to check out something really cool, the BMW M Hybrid V8. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a full tour of this new race car, talk to you about what makes it so cool, and talk to you about BMW's future plans with this vehicle. Now, BMW is coming back to IMSA in the GTP class with this ultimate V8 powered hybrid race car. And this thing is really cool. So there's a lot of other major OEMs competing in the IMSA championship coming up here shortly, but this is BMW's new entrant. So let's talk a little bit about what makes it special. Now, the most polarizing part by far has to be the front end. Wait till you see what they have done. So of course, the kidney grills are outlined in these really cool, long flowing LED light tubes, but they're not actually grills. If you can kind of see what's going on there, this is all aero. It's all um, kind of a pass through channel in the front of the vehicle outlined with that really cool LED tube. And then of course the headlights are along the edges. We'll try to get a better look at that there. You can see the two um, strips there for the running lights and then the multitude of LEDs in the front. Now in this new GTP class, the uh, manufacturers are encouraged to incorporate design elements from production vehicles. And that is exactly what BMW has done. So a couple of things worth no noting, you've got the iconic um, kink there in the window design, which is pretty cool. You've got these hook-like mirrors along the fender flares, which you get there. And there's a couple of other little BMW iconic um, pieces throughout. Now the engine is what makes this vehicle really special. So in the rear is a four liter twin turbo V8 made it to a hybrid system and total system output is 690 horsepower. So nearly 700 horsepower. And of course, with these new race cars at slow speeds, cruising through the pit lane, they can click it into um, electric mode. And then once it leaves the pit lane, uh, engage that enormous V8. Now it's called the uh, P66-3 engine, similar to what they've been using in the DTM race car, uh, but now of course in a much different setup. Another cool thing is of course, BMW is celebrating 50 years of M and they have done that with this really interesting livery. And you can see along the rear, in certain areas you'll actually see M's hidden. There's another one, if we kind of get down low, you can see that M be completed. I gotta get the right angle though. There you go, it makes an M, which is a very, very neat piece of design. Now, as we come along the rear here, check out these tail lights. Very unique design, and they look fantastic. And then you'll see the BMW rondel there on both sides of the car, similar to like the BMW M1 vehicle of like the 1970s. Enormous rear diffuser, enormous rear wing along the rear, hybrid electrified there, you can see on the, uh, the spoiler, and it's so much aerodynamic features going on here to make this vehicle as slippery and as efficient as possible throughout the air. Now, BMW has a long history in racing, and we can see that over here showcased in some other iconic race cars throughout the decades. So this car right here is the 1981 racer. And what I think about this is the funny contrast between the front end of the new vehicle and the front end of this. Now, of course, in the early 80s, BMW had the kidney grills, but they were itty bitty. And on this car, they just simply tacked them to the front, which is such a crazy look. So you got this little wire mesh and then this like tiny little kidney <laughs> along the front of the vehicle. And then as we progress through the years, you can see how they kind of changed the design. So in this model, they didn't even have the grill. <laughs> they just gave you a little blue sticker and then progressing over here to the 1999 model. You can kind of see how they incorporated that. So it's cool to uh, see the progression of the race cars, the progression of the aerodynamics all the way to the new one, which is a dramatic shift in design philosophy. And a, uh, I think it looks pretty cool in person. It really is a, a, a neat design. Now, of course, other OEMs are competing in this class, vehicles like Acura. Um, and once again, Acura was also encouraged to incorporate some of the newest design elements, excuse me, into the, uh, the front of the vehicle. Very, very cool. You can see the BMW uh, badge there located in that little uh, V-notch, that little uh, crater there in the front of the car. And then this one, still prototype form, so the glass is all uh, blacked out, so us curious eyes can't go poking through and seeing what's in here. A lot of famous people here. David Letterman is around here somewhere. David Letterman, oh, there he is. He's over there in the corner. He is a, uh, a longtime supporter of Indy and the uh, RLL race team. And um, yeah, really cool little event they got going on here uh, at the Peterson Automotive Museum in uh, Los Angeles, California. 
Well, let me know what you think of this car in the comment section below. It's a pretty cool design. It's really cool to see in person. And we'll have to see how BMW does at IMSA in the coming, uh, coming season. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.